fashion is up in May. So it's perfect. Because I got it for a year. Oh, for Zoom? Uh, for Zoom. And the year is up in May. So well, perfect. unless you're unless you're gonna have a fucking press conference, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've had people like I think I told you that my friend that went crazy was like, "We should Zoom," and I was like, "Bruh, what? <laughs> like, who zooms? Like, who zooms their friends? Like, let's let's hop on Zoom. Like, um, no, if you're not my manager, we're not hopping on fucking Zoom. <laughs> yeah." Like, I'll FaceTime with you. We both have iPhones. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Maybe have... Skype. Maybe. But I have Skype, too. Also, there's, like, there are a million apps with, like, face <laughs> yeah. thing. I'm like, like, I was like, we are on Facebook Messenger <laughs> literally right now. And we could just put the little icon for the camera. Yeah. And boom, it's happening. We don't even need to switch to computers <laughs> or anything. Do, I, do we have to are you gonna blur out things so we don't like so we don't, we don't get canceled <laughs> well i don't or have we a, should i don't have, a, I don't have we, a brand like hey this is tasty yeah you could drink this it's delicious Actually, we can delicious. we can do it we can do it and it's zero sugar because my body decided to be a bitch <laughs> All sugar-free products should have that as a tagline. <laughs> Has your body decided to be a bitch? When it's time for sugar-free. You can still drink a Starburst. You can't eat a Starburst because then you'll get the diarrhea. But you can <laughs> drink it. We have not perfected this, the sugar-free Starburst that you could eat. Because you'll get that that wet <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> have you ever seen... Um, I think it's like... I don't know if it's the Amazon reviews or Yelp reviews of like those gummy bears. No, I haven't. It's, it's a certain gummy bear that's sugar free and you can't <laughs> buy them anymore. They like took them off. I think it's Amazon <laughs> reviews and somebody like cued me into it and they're like, just go and look up. I don't think it's Haribo, but it's something like that. Oh, one of those. Yeah. And they were like, go look up the sugar free because it has um, I forget which sugar like replacement, but it's one of the diabetic ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. It, um, and I went and I looked it up and it's hilarious because every single review is about diarrhea, like explosive, <laughs> oh my terrible. They're like, I ate one and I was like, this is so good. It tastes exactly like it's supposed to. So I had 10 and then I had 20 and then I, my, my wife had to take the back <laughs> away from me. And then I shit myself for the first time since I was nine. And then I shat myself all the way to the bathroom. And then I was in the bathroom for seven hours. My oh ass my God. exploded. I mean, they're all really <laughs> descriptive and hilarious. And I was like, I, ki I kind of want to order them, but they took them off the market. They were like guys they're we like, need to just you like can die <laughs> would you like you some probably, gummy bears or you want to die like okay so buy these gummy bears you know where like if you buy something on amazon they'll show you like uh related products yeah like if you buy a skirt they'll be like want these boots in this purse <laughs> they, they would have like pedialyte and gatorade and <laughs> maybe some like flushable, flushable wipes <laughs> Be easy portable on, toilet to, to be easy on you took us <laughs> a bedpan hi we're back <laughs> um so here are the four we're gonna look at four here's your four choices this is from cosmopolitan.com yes and it just moved on its own fucking ai it's haunted really okay relationship goals here's one of the four that you can choose from why boyfriend air is ruining your life hygiene boyfriend air a i r a i r okay why now, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try that out your air is really fucking stifling I, me I like, what? What <laughs> you're like god what a narcissist <laughs> <laughs> why my partner made me cry at a sex party 15 sexting games to play with your partner you should date someone in an open relationship. No, I want the sexting games. That sounds like the most <laughs> fun to hear about. The other ones don't are nowhere near in my atmosphere. Like made me cry at a sex party. Okay. You know what? Guess what I don't want to do? Wouldn't... I don't want to cry. 
<laughs> and also, if you're a crier, don't go to a sex party. No, the whole thing. <laughs> but you your wife. You should have known that that was a no. Yeah. That should have been a hard no. Yeah, don't do it to, to like make him happy. Like, okay, just this one time. No, it's not going to come out well. If there's a high chance of you crying, nobody's going to have fun. Just skip it. Just yeah. skip it. Don't do it. It's okay. It's okay. Do a sex if thing. He game. Let's he find wanted to, if he wanted to, he would. Okay. He should have thought about that before. <laughs> <laughs> you missed your chance, tough guy. Okay. I'm not a fool. You- in case you weren't aware, your sex your sex sessions needn't to be all of the what would you do if I were there right now? Ha ha variety. Okay. This... Wait, is this gonna make me sexier? <laughs> yes. Is this gonna teach me how oh to Oh my talk god, sexier? I have to subscribe to keep reading. This is so dumb. <laughs> really? Yes. $20 how they get you anyway 12 sexual role play oh that's cosmo also sexual what role do it play. i know those all <laughs> probably not i have all of those costumes actually so i got it covered actually you could just open up your closet and show us what you got you just do a <laughs> show and tell i mean as you can see from my tinder slash only fans i do have it all covered it's true yeah, we got to go through those again <laughs> so that you can act like you have no idea what's going on. What am I even doing in this picture? <laughs> yeah, we need to like roast so that people are like, oh, you think you're so perfect. No, bro, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> I at really all. don't. I'm just as shitty as you are. So everyone calm down. I'm uh, shittier TikTok or not TikTok <laughs> Tinder was like yeah you're a dude like all right <laughs> I, I had to take that blow to my psyche okay <laughs> dude I thought I had the right one but Cosmo really effed me on that okay. that's what they do they do they teach you and then they do it but you know like honestly I've bought Cosmo magazines just for those things inside and I've gotten to them and I was like this really kind of says nothing (laughs) (laughs) I can't find anything I can't you get an F today yeah I don't mean I don't want I don't want to have to be hard on you like that but I mean I deserve it you failed Mm, take take your zero like a hero (laughs) (laughs) My my math teacher used to say that <laughs> you can, cause she also used to come in to work uh, with a hangover. <laughs> she tell everybody. <laughs> yeah. She's like, listen today, I'm going to put my head down because <laughs> I got, I have a hangover. Nobody tell. And then she would make us all do that. We'd have to swear. And we'd all, she went around the room one time and we all had to say, cross my heart, hope to die, stick a needle in my eye. We all had to say it to her face that we wouldn't tell on her that she had a hangover and she was going to nap in the front of class and we were going to do whatever. And I was like, <laughs> this is life. It's like, uh, like school of rock. Have you seen school of rock? Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, okay, I got a hangover. Who's got food? But it was like that, but real life, it really happened though. <laughs> so and then we, thing. And yeah. then we just sat around probably reading Cosmo sex tips that said nothing that said, <laughs> put a donut on your boyfriend's penis and eat it off. And we were like, God, I always would ask my guy friends, like, would you want that? And they were like, no, I don't know. <laughs> just no, put, it, put it directly in your mouth. Like just eat it. Just like- skip the donut. If you want, you could eat the donut later or before <laughs> if you're hungry, but <laughs> can we mouth, separate the two, the mouth yeah. and penis are fine there's a lot of quizzes is he your perfect mate yeah how to get your guy to commit you won't find a guy that wants to commit the end 
<laughs> that's like literally they don't exist they, yeah, well <laughs> there's that theory too <laughs> i'm a, raise and your hand I, if you're a resent a resentful hag who will never marry anybody again well why can't you be like a you know resentful hottie that just wants cats that's true or dogs or dogs look I, i'll be frank i'm a dog person i think ca- cats make me sneezy it's fair they're cute that's fair they're, they're cute. cute but they make me get fucking hives and like who wants hives Ooh, nobody no one nobody wants, wants hives i don't i don't think you do i i think i would i would get a dog except for i would either want to be able to travel with them all the time or have somebody reliable that I can trust to take care of it if I'm not around. And that's yeah. the problem. For now. Well, we have, we found a lady that, cause my dog is like really high maintenance. So I was really worried. Like we went on a cruise and I was like, oh my God, what are we going to do with her? <laughs> like it's 10 days long. She's so high maintenance. She like needs to be like up your ass. If yeah. you're home, she's up your ass. <laughs> and I was like, oh man. And she's so attached to us. And we found this lady and I was so worried. But then like we did like a test run over like a weekend beforehand. And this lady has, I think she has like a little girl and they like bonded and she slept Aww. in the little girl's bed and everything. Aww. And I was like, no, we don't have to worry. So we went on the cruise. So like we can go anywhere now. That's and awesome. Now our dog gets like a little vacation too. Yeah. It's like going to, oh man, that's actually really. Freaking... And they have, they have another dog. So when she comes back, she acts more like a dog. <laughs> like now she kind of acts like she thinks she's a person. When she, <laughs> yeah. when she comes back from her little vacation, she acts like a dog. Like she'll sit on the floor and we're like, look, she's sitting on the floor. What, <laughs> what the fuck is this? Is this a dog or something? Yeah. What the fuck is this? Well, otherwise she kind of acts like, I'm half cat, half bunny, half person. Well, then you're gonna have to tell me your but your secret sex tips because I'm okay. I came here I came here to you work. Here damn sex. it! Ooh, I came okay. here for sex. No, Ooh. no, no. <laughs> Mom, Dad, Tony, nobody. I didn't come here for sex. We're just talking. Okay. Oh. No, I came here to learn about my body. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you want to take this quiz? Everybody has a rom-com soulmate. Everyone has a rom-com soulmate. Which 2000s leading man is your forever guy? Hey, with 2000s? Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Okay, ready? It's going to make me throw up. (laughs) Choose the best word you think that describes you. Sassy, clumsy, feminist, cute, witty, fun, loving, carefree, shy, considerate. I'm fucking all of those. <laughs> all of pick- them, bitch. How are you supposed to pick one? There's a lot. I am every woman. Shaka, um, Shaka Khan. I'm going to pick one for you. <clears throat> Would you pick Goofy? Sassy, clumsy, no, cute. Feminist, witty, fun, carefree, loving, considerate. I say fun or sassy are my top two. Yeah, both. I, both. I don't. I yeah. don't know which one I'm more of. I think they're like pro- pretty much an equal. Are like you a Disney 50- girl? No, I mean yes, but no. Choose a Disney princess: Cinderella, Ariel, Mulan, Belle. Okay, see, like I would choose a villain. <laughs> <laughs> if that's telling okay sassy. okay <laughs> okay 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 so like i would be maleficent <laughs> yeah that would be Snow- so... uh, Sleeping Beauty. <clears throat> if i had to choose a princess i'd probably choose like moana or something okay why all the princesses get to be white not anymore no nope. they don't even get to be light brown anymore because that causes a ruckus <laughs> i don't know oh my god <laughs> I can't wait to see Little Mermaid. I doubt anybody would have thought twice about the fact that she's ha- bl- she's black or whatever, whatever the controversy is. Oh no, is. they forgot about <laughs> her because now the problem is Moana is too light. Or no, not, not Moana, not Moana. Oh. Um, Lilo and Stitch. What so the girl, the girl is Hawaiian, but she's not dark enough Hawaiian. I can't. And. People are like, it's a fucking cartoon. It's a drawing. 
she and she's actually Hawaiian. It's like we didn't get like a light skinned like Puerto Rican girl to play her or a yeah. whatever somebody that's not the correct. Like I mean, she's Hawaiian and probably has an amazing voice or something that made them pick her. Like people just want to fucking complain. Yeah, day in and day like I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So remember the mo- movie Tropic Thunder. Yeah. This wasn't too long ago. Well, this is like I guess twenty years ago now. But that was before something happened in between then and now because um, Robert Downey Jr. was was blackface. If anybody else would have done blackface yeah. at that time, it like would not have been okay. It was already not okay to do no, blackface. No, no. <laughs> yeah. but... but I mean, like, it was a movie that came out with well, actors... I think that, that yeah. I think that comedy back then got away with a lot more than it yeah. does now. People could see, hear, and understand sarcasm. Yeah. Oh, like a lot faster. They'd be like, <laughs> clearly, this yeah. is a, a joke. Yeah. Like character, like uh, you know, um character actors that are what's it called? What is that um form of acting? Improv? No. Um, no the um where they like embody the oh person um, that they're playing their method yes method. thank you oh yeah so then so then he had to be this like black yeah. man all the time and and, <laughs> and but that's hilarious like the one thing about comedy is that you have to catch people off guard and yeah. you have to do deliver it in the perfect way and like I hate the term because people overuse it, but like the sort of like woke culture, because I don't know how else to say it now. They're sort of like making it so that you can't shock anybody because anything that's shocking yeah. is not okay to say. Like the SNL stuff where they like trade off and do like the oh racist my, jokes. Yeah. We're making each other, we're making each other read jokes live on air that the other person has never seen before. And the idea is to keep it fun, light, no one's gonna get canceled. No one's families are gonna get threatened. You know, have fun. Sure, we'll see. We'll... An obese monkey in Thailand named Godzilla has been sent to a special facility to lose weight. Official realized the monkey was overweight when a bunch of black guys kept hitting on it. They're hilarious, and they are not PC, and they are racist. Yeah. That's what's hilarious about them. Yeah. Because the white guy is given jokes by the black guy that are yeah. really offensive. <laughs> and he's laughing at the fact that he has to say it. Like, yeah. that's what's so funny about it. Yeah. I'm scared that that's going to go away. I am afraid, too. Because at some point, I, the, the latest I remember, where there was that. Nobody thought twice about that. And then there's white chicks. <laughs> that's i mean it's in the same realm of you know what i mean but no uh, it's like the same thing i mean it's not the same thing because blackface has like a terrible historical you know yeah but if you just look at it without the historical value (laughs) is this yeah it's you know but it's also hilarious to me yeah it is also i don't i don't agree with it i don't think it's true but when somebody said that um uh, Iggy Azalea looks like some white chicks. <laughs> I, I laughed for. She's actually she's really beautiful, but like her skin tone and her hair color, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> it was the same as theirs. Like the skin tone that they achieved yeah. in white face and the wig that they wore. I'm like, it's Iggy Azalea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, but okay. yeah. So then, okay, and then it started, like, there's still a lot of ones that people never brought up or cared about, but then it started, so, in The Wedding Planner with Jennifer Lopez and Matthew McConaughey, mm-hmm. she plays an Italian. She's supposed to be Italian. Right. And Which she's confused Italian. me. The first time yeah. I watched it, I was like, wait, because they're so close. Yeah. You know? They Yeah. Like, so I was like wait is she is this family italian or like what and then i was like oh they okay they're italian massimo right wasn't it massimo the guy who's chasing her i love massimo i'm like that's so cute send send him to me i'll take (laughs) (laughs) but yeah and then i'm like well i mean they're so close 
and I'm yeah. like does she, I'm like does she really look Italian not really but okay I mean like that's fine yeah I was like and then well I mean there's a lot of that because then it gets so confusing because if she okay the today's standard she can't play she wouldn't be allowed to play an Italian girl right I don't know it gets real complicated because then people are like okay we all have to like if if there's a character that's gay you need to find a gay person to play the gay character okay but on the reverse though how many gay people or lesbians or whatever have played straight roles I bet they're gonna be pissing yeah. themselves if they suddenly find that they can't play straight roles. Whoa, that's will, a good point. They yeah. will lose a lot of work. So I know that I saw that Kristen Stewart was interviewed about it, and she was like, "No, no, 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 no." She yeah. was like against doing that because yeah. she's played a lot of straight roles, and she's like, "I don't want to lose out on roles because of who they're interested in because it's a character not yeah me. it's a character yeah so yeah. it doesn't matter who I'm with or I'm married in real life it doesn't mean that I have to play a wife in a movie like yeah that's we could we could take this to a ridiculous degree you know what I mean yeah like I think as far as like I was talking to Tony about it like as far as like historical like documentaries and and, and movies and things like that if it's you know, like there's that, there was that uh, TikTok that I saw and it was cracking me up because it had like a black Hitler <laughs> and, and like just uh, a big, <laughs> a big dude that was like really muscular, this like big, like black dude and he was playing <laughs> Snow White <laughs> and they had a, uh, like a white guy playing like Muhammad Ali just like and Barack Obama oh, and the, yeah, yeah, and yeah. it was this lady and she was cracking up and she's like you guys are so chat immature and it was just <laughs> I was cracking up about it because you know it's just like making fun of how lost we are right now like what yeah. are we doing um and I think I think they had Chris Pratt um playing like I forget who he was was playing. Jamie like, Foxx something too I feel like maybe oh chris pratt was rosa parks <laughs> and he's like and it's at the bottom i'm not finna move <laughs> i was dying laughing i'm like this is so ridiculous i'm not and he was like looking out like all regal like i'm not finna move <laughs> But it's like, okay, if it's a real life person, yeah, if it's a per you know, somebody that existed in history, yes, you should absolutely get yeah. someone that looks as much like them from the same background as possible to make it as the yeah. most historically accurate as you can. If it's a cartoon, <laughs> I mean it's it's also kind of up to like the person who's making it, who's yeah. paying to make this thing. Yeah. What is your vision for it? What's your like adaptation of it? What do yeah. you see for it? So everyone needs know. to calm down. Because the latest, not the latest one, but the one that got me confused was when um, Emma Stone played somebody, played a character who is half Japanese and she's not. That's weird. I didn't see that movie, but I, I didn't saw either. It. I saw like a clip of it. You know, I watch YouTube like endlessly weird things. I go down rabbit holes. Yeah. I have I have YouTube red. It just keeps playing stuff at <laughs> night when I can't sleep. Um, but I saw a little snippet of her. It was like people that played other races and made people mad. And one was her playing an Asian person. And I was like, why? I exactly. <laughs> it's like, were there nobody else? There are definitely Asian people. <laughs> like, okay, don't get me wrong. She's a good actress. I don't know. Do you know what movie it was? I don't, I don't know. But like, if they're looking for an ha a half Asian, like, yeah, I want to know, like, what were the qualifications that the, was the role written, written for Emma Stone or were they looking to that cast doesn't a make... half Asian? Yeah. Well, who would write Either. a half Asian role for Emma Stone? <laughs> exactly. That doesn't. So, I mean, they should try to find, she was like, they're, oh, she could be half Asian. That doesn't make sense. I'm half yeah. Japanese, so maybe I should have, you know, I could have gotten. I'm sorry. When people are half Asian, you can tell. 
You just can. <laughs> There's something, usually their eyes are like a little bit more, a little extra almond. Like I have more almond shaped eyes and I have hooded eyes, but I don't have enough to look Asian. Yeah. Um, it's just, I guess she's just... kind of good. I don't know. She has white people eyes like I do that are hooded. She, she has hooded. White. She has hooded eyes. It doesn't mean that she looks Asian, and that's <laughs> okay. We all have different things, and that's why the world is a beautiful place. But why? Why would you do that? That's really weird. And she's very white too. I just why would there's... she? Ex- <laughs> so is it also on her for accepting a role that's somebody half Japanese? Yeah. Yes, because there are a lot of actors that turn things down all the time. And a lot of times they they have lists of like actors that turn things down and then the thing blows up yeah. and they're like, do you regret it? And they're like, no, nah, because obviously like it was meant to go to that person because that person took it and it blew up. And part of the reason is obviously because that person played that role. Yeah. You know, if, I, if I was that role, maybe it wouldn't have, you know, it's it was not like, like a one-to-one. Yeah. Right. It's like magic that everything comes together and there's the chemistry between that person and the other lead mm-hmm. and all this stuff. But when people take a role and they're like, yo, do you regret doing that? <laughs> yeah. Emma Stone, do you regret pretending to be Asian <laughs> for some reason? And like that was part of the character, right? I mean, I don't know what movie this is, but, but it's like, but there are good Asian actresses. Like, I don't <laughs> yeah. understand. Or even closer to. But there are even, okay, so maybe if, let's say that she was supposed to be a specific type of Asian, and they even get mad if you cast a different kind of Asian. Yeah, that's, let me tell you, that's how. But then, but then these people were like, let's just go full on white. <laughs> because you remember, like, in Crouching Tiger, yeah. they didn't pick the correct Asians. Yeah. They were like, Lu was yeah. not like Japanese or something. No, she's, I think she's like Chinese so, or Korean. They were like, you picked a lot of the, the people were not Japanese. And they were yeah. like, why didn't, why didn't you get a full Japanese cast? And they're like, cause this isn't Japan. Because like, we been- had to, we had to go with like the, the top Asian actors and who, who could fulfill the, kept the, they had to be character. and they had to be able to physically do a lot of stuff and you know act the part and and the actors in that were amazing like calm down and like As, isn't that what acting is yeah like, yeah it's so stupid so they they were able to look close enough and i know it's that's well that's like the 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 jennifer lopez thing yeah playing an italian like I didn't get offended as like a white person. Like, oh my God, if somebody played an Irish person and they're not really Irish. And look at all the, the British people coming over. Well, that's Everybody's what I mean. Everybody's British in, t- in the best. Place. I, all the time, constantly now, I'll watch an interview and somebody's like, I'm doing great. And I'm like, what? What? Because I <laughs> yeah. thought that they were American. And I'm like, what the she's and I have to like show everybody I'm like did you did you know that this person and everyone's yeah. always shocked because they have people from like Australia or you know the UK yeah I guess we have really lazy mouths which yeah. is kind of depressing because <laughs> they all can do an Nailed American it. accent yeah. so well and we suck at doing all of it yeah <laughs> every time i watch it i cringe like i have a hard time watching an american actor yeah especially if it's like some of the really bad ones like kevin costner oh no no in no. like robin hood yeah where he's just like you're still trying to be lord of the manor i for one would rather die than to spend my life in hiding this is english courage hold on emma stone just apologized for playing an asian character <laughs> And I love Emma Stone. Yeah. So I'm like, poor Emma Stone. I feel like she probably got roped into that. And they were like, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Go to wardrobe. It'll be fine. Learn your lines. And she just sort of like, okay, I guess it's fine. And then right after they were like, boo. And like, maybe her manager, at her. It, her manager, her publicist and her, what is it? Her agent. They're all probably like, it's great. It's going to be fine. Because it. she played Allison 
don't know how this is the last name ing ng a young woman of chinese hawaiian swedish descent oh so they're like you look like the swedish part <laughs> It'll she okay. mostly we can explain that away yeah <laughs> she she mostly looked like the swedish part so don't worry and she's like okay i want to see what the real person looked like was it a real person or just a character just a uh just a character like it's a fake person so why didn't they yeah. just make her fucking swedish like i <sighs> it wasn't like oh no like was it based on a book where they had to keep certain things Cameron Crowe's Aloha. That's the Cameron Crowe film. Damn, Cameron, what did you do? You really screwed the pooch this time. Michael Che has a joke. Your idea of the origin of screw the pooch? Yeah, I wanted to do a sketch about the first guy to ever said the phrase screwed the pooch. <laughs> because <laughs> an intern one time messed up a coffee order. And I was like, hey, I didn't order this. And he goes, I'm sorry about that, Che. I really screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> and I said, what was that? <laughs> and he goes, screwed the pooch. It means I made a mistake. And I was like, no, man, it means you had a <laughs> in the dog. <laughs> and you should probably stop saying that in a workplace environment. I think that's, is that a Southern saying? It has to be, right? Because Southern it's sayings are really weird. But and <laughs> like being from the North, I... I've done a lot of laughing since I've moved here because I was like, <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> like when I learned that bless your heart basically mean, meant like go fuck yourself. Like you were a special person, like oh, not, yeah. not all um, there in the head. Like, oh, bless your heart. And I'd be like, yeah. wow, why is everyone saying that to me all the time? My mom's <laughs> like, it means they think you're fucking stupid. I'm like, oh, oh okay. wow. Well, makes sense. Okay. This they is also what her... say they're going to pray for me. Oh, that's worse. It's the same people, so it's <laughs> which one would be worse? Oh, bless your heart, pray for you. Well, the pray for you is like they, uh, you know, I was 20, so I was in my 20s, so they thought I was going to go to hell. <laughs> so they're going to pray for my soul, and then oh, they're like, yeah. bless your heart because, you know, oh, you're a, in a terrible uh, situation. It's I'm a simple, problem. I'm a simpleton, and I do dumb things. <laughs> so they, they were recovering all their bases. Yeah, you're a dumbass, but also I'm gonna pray for you because obviously you're going straight to hell. <laughs> it's very very sweet these southerners are. Oh um, shit! So this is the one I was gonna bring up. An influencer lost a business deal after saying on a podcast that she killed two cats as a child. <laughs> this is she, because uh, people said, thought she was a serial killer. Now she goes, accidents happen, and you all need to chill. Because of her say, her response, I, I guess. Did she so, say how she um, killed them? So she was just like talking on a, she was a guest on a podcast. Uh, and she lost a brand deal after sharing on an episode that she killed two cats as a child. I killed my cat. <gasps> Context, go. please. I didn't mean to. Oh. I was young. I was a child. And I... I was like swinging my cat around like I was just thinking it was like a like a stuffed toy and I accidentally let go of it <laughs> and it died it died from the fright and my, sister, yeah. my sister did not speak to me for months Blame months up. and my mum was fucking fuming at me and yeah I killed it and then if you really want to like know more about me I also killed my best friend's cat okay listen though <laughs> this is this is different because that's like if we were talking about like people make mistakes and I'm like listen you don't need yeah. to get over it because one time I killed a homeless man <laughs> and you guys, like, get, get over, it. over it one time I hit a guy with my car and left but like he didn't look like someone that anyone would miss so get <laughs> over it like dear are you that you lack complete self-awareness like that's that's probably first of all to say it out loud that's, that's what i'm a, saying yeah lack of self-awareness that's a therapy thing for yeah. sure if you don't know that that's a questionable thing to do to to do and to <laughs> say out loud <laughs> to do sure at any age you wait at all at all two years to, old five years to, old 20 years 
you know, not to do that to cats. To, sh- to, to share out loud, like it's no big deal. Like one time I was on stage about to perform and I fell down and I got up and kept going and it was no big deal. <laughs> That's an okay thing to share. Yeah. What well, one time I shook a cat till it died from fright. Get over it. It's no big deal. Not the same. No, that's not the same at all. <laughs> at all. That's and she's like, my own family disowned me, but they're <laughs> they got over it eventually. Yeah. 15 years later. Like, okay, if they wouldn't even talk to you, that should like flag should start going off to you. Like, oh, maybe don't tell that one. Yeah. My own my own family wouldn't talk to me. Yeah. And actually, yeah. <laughs> and and so that was and then you know what? Also don't go on a podcast and then make it even bigger of a deal. Well, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the trash takes itself out. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. like she she said that and that was a way for like everyone else to go, oh, and like take the hook and like you know, yank her <laughs> off of all platforms and be like, <laughs> nope. Hey, guess what? You need to only talk to a couple people you're, in the privacy of your yeah. own home. You've been canceled. If that, yeah. And it's with animals. So there's really no coming back for her. Well, if you if you can kill a helpless animal, and I don't mean hunting, I mean like a domestic pet. If you can kill them, then I don't trust you. But you could kill anything at that point. Yeah. If you could kill a kitten, a puppy, and just be like, la 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 la. Yeah. I shook it and it died from fright. It wasn't even like, I remember somebody told me, I don't even remember who or like the specifics, but somebody told me that they had like, maybe like an autistic child and mm-hmm. they were like playing with a cat too rough and, yeah. and, ki- and killed it like a kitten. Mm-hmm. Like it was real small. Yeah. And they accidentally killed it mm-hmm. from playing too rough. And it broke my heart because that's a situation where they did not comprehend what was happening. Yeah. And yeah. that's going to really mess them up. That's a story where it's like, okay. Yeah. A lot of things have to happen. But even that you wouldn't tell later on on a podcast, like, get over it. No. Like- and that was <laughs> after the podcast. Somebody wrote on the U- on the comment on YouTube, you're either a complete halfway or just cruel. Um, and then said people are way too comfortable admitting the worst of themselves on podcasts. <laughs> and then um, and then she goes, um, it was intended to be a bit of light humor. And if you can't handle it, then simply chaotic ain't for you. It happened 21 years ago. I was a small child. Accidents happen and you all need to chill. Wow. That's so that's- Bye. But but no, this is the thing. Like Shane Dawson did something really similar where he joked about like touching his cat in a sexual way. And oh, they were like, gross. oh, but it was just funny. It's like, yeah, but like, I don't know. Sometimes humor, if it's like, we can't tell if it's humor and like, <gasps> what? It's like, it, it... Like people were just like, I'm offended and grossed out by that story. And I don't know if it's. How do you not be like, like, oh, haha, that you're playing with cats genitals. Yeah. To, to like, to like completion. Like it was like. Oh my God. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. No, no, nobody wants to hear that. And also no one thinks that's funny. And And also um, I didn't know that was a thing until today. So, uh, you learn That's something pe- yeah See? And i'm not even i'm not even reading a list you learned something you didn't want to know but okay mr yeah. rogers neighborhood <laughs> um um the <laughs> last thing so she says it again um sorry not sorry for having a giggle about it because i think still 20 years i'm 20 years on i'm in shock by it okay so she's Sorry, not sorry for having a giggle about it because I think still 20 years on, I'm in shock by it. That's a Australians. Very mixed, that's um, a mixed message. That sounds like someone that needs therapy and I hope she big gets time. Some, she needs to talk that out a little bit, I think. I think that's like one of those things. You, you ever see that? Like, I think it's like a meme where 
you know, you're telling like a funny story. Like you think you're telling a funny yeah. story from your past. And then like, as you get to the end, you realize everyone's <laughs> looking at you with like big eyes, like, like what's the, <laughs> and then you're like the story of when my uncle touched me. Ah! <laughs> and everyone's like, that's not, oh my God, we're going to take you to the hospital. I think maybe she had one of those moments maybe. where she's just, she's telling this, you know, like she didn't realize it was traumatic until she got to the end and she was like, what? It's no big deal. What? You know? I can't die to fret because I was swinging it around. Um, but to keep like, that's not, no. Not, to, and then to keep on, she like tripled down on it. That's, that's the third problem. She's like, sorry, not sorry. You just you don't say sorry for not sorry not stop sorry for an accident that happened twenty years ago. I'm, if I murdered somebody twenty years ago, I'm still gonna hopefully feel sorry about it. You know, yeah, yeah. it's so like it's a it's a really unfortunate thing. Yeah, she needs to like the first incident happened when she was nine. That's not even that. That's my that's daughter's not that age. That young. Yeah, they, they know, know what they're doing. If you if you've raised a child, you know that by that age, if they do some shit like that, you're like, you're going to you the institute you being institutionalized. Well, by then you can sit down and rationalize with them, and you can ask them, "Do you know why I am mad at you? Do you know why I yelled at you?" And they can tell you. Because yeah. by that age, they know, like they do things yeah. and they push the boundaries and they're testing all of their limits out. So. And then if they, in, if their response by their response of, do you know why I'm mad at you? I think it would be very telling also. It's like, okay, this is, this is normal. Know. Yeah. This is, this is one thing, or it's like, this is like, we need to reevaluate how to raise this child as you know well have possible you ever, sociopath have you ever seen like someone else's child in that situation where they answer something like that and you're like <laughs> and, and you grab your child you're like let's go and you, just, da, 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 and you dance off for some reason we're all on a stage today and i'm dancing off um because I remember somebody asked their kid, like, they, like, punched someone in the face or slapped someone in the face, like, a little girl, like, just, like, pummeled someone, like, a bigger boy. <laughs> and the mom was like, do you know why that was wrong? No. And she was just like, it wasn't because, you know, he, I don't like his shirt or it was like something, like, she just said something really weird. Yeah, like, like, it doesn't match the crime. <laughs> Okay. Well, I hope that she realizes that that little girl needs to talk to somebody because she's like yeah. a future um issue of, <laughs> of, Amer- of America. Too. Yeah. Um. Okay. So here's the statement from the company. Uh, they're an Australian company called McCoy Beauty. It has come to our attention that Emma Claire recently relayed a story on her podcast discussing an incident of her animal cruelty from her childhood. We were dismayed by this story and will no longer be working with Emma in the future. Here at Emco Beauty, we take instances like this extremely seriously and do not condone animal cruelty of any kind. Thank you to all those who have taken time to bring this to this situation to our attention. They're probably like, Bob, what a, that would, that would kill a brand like yeah over overnight no, especially that's... if they're all about like everything is animal uh you know animal cruelty like free. cruelty free yeah well I think like it's one of those things where in a, in a, any company for if there's somebody goofs that yeah. company needs to eat that person as fast <laughs> as possible yeah. and be like we want nothing to do with them um, yeah. to like save face and be like, so, you know, like something happens, even if it's not directly that person's fault, you're like, oh, they're getting fired because they <laughs> yeah. have to, they have to fire have to. somebody to yeah. account for somebody this. Somebody is getting something big time because it has to be a big act, a big like, act has to be taken. Yeah. And, and then like, also, yeah. also the person that wrote that, that they were like, do you think dismay is good? <laughs> yes. 
that that phrasing made me laugh. I'm like, how did I feel about her describing doing like hurting a dead a cat little cat till it died of fright dismay that's it <laughs> chef's kiss like no I don't know if that quite cut it for her. I felt more than dismay maybe oh. I don't know what dismay maybe I don't know what that word means <laughs> well it's Australia so maybe they have maybe that's true that's true they say things a little bit different because I know I used dismay. to do my no I used to do I don't mean like an accent they they, sma- I used to do <laughs> This my, this my. Wait, do the Australia? Now, Go ahead. Yeah, now you're just doing like a Cockney accent. No, I used to do um during COVID. I did like um a I forget what they're called, uh, but we did like a a workout thing on YouTube together, and it was like a couple that would <laughs> uh-huh. do it because we're dorks, and we were doing it, uh-huh. and they would they were Australian, and it was really good though. It was um like the um low impact high intensity interval training oh uh, yeah deal. I like those. so yeah. we were doing those so they were fun but like not too dancey because tony's like don't pick a dance you want to keep that because <laughs> like he's white and has no rhythm i might but i have rhythm and uh so we were like doing these things and they're australian so sometimes uh-huh. they would say things that made me laugh <laughs> and they they say how are you going i think oh they say certain things how like you- where i'm like how you going? How you going? <laughs> like, not how are you doing? How yeah. you going? And I'd be like, that's so weird. Like, I can't, my brain, every time they say that to each other, I'm like, and then I saw it on like shows and things. They'd be like, oh, how, how you, going? you going? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. And it's normal to them. So like, how you doing probably sounds crazy, but you know, I'm from New Jersey how and New York. How are so, you going? How are you doing? Huh. So they're like, you know, New Jersey, they're, how you doing? Hey. How, how you doing? <laughs> There's an episode of Friends where you watch Friends, right? Yeah. Of course. I did. Back in the day. I've seen every episode. Um, When they made light of it, and it's kind of a touchy subject, too. It's when um Chandler needed to get something tailored. And Joey's like, oh, I got a tailor. And um, oh, and he's like all up in his junk. <laughs> Your tailor is a very bad man. <laughs> Frankie, what are you talking about? Hey, what's going on? <laughs> Joey's tailor <laughs> took advantage of me. <laughs> what? No way. I've been going to the guy for 12 years. Oh, come on. He said he was going to do my inseam, then he ran his hand up my leg, and then there was definite... What? Cupping. (laughs) That's how they do pants. The thing is that, like, um, even... I've I've watched a couple of movies and a couple of shows, like, from the 90s. Uh And I'm watching them, and I'm like... This is crazy because this would be so canceled. Like, I can't believe yeah. this isn't even like they didn't, I don't know, ban these from the world and like <laughs> shut them down. Like some things I'm like, okay, like Disney with like the song of the South. Holy crap. That's uh, what yeah. <laughs> I remember watching that when I was like a small child because it was just on like the Disney, like, you know, VHS. Yeah. No one knows what that is. I am sorry. But um, it's a thing you would actually, it's a close to a dvd which no one knows what that is but sorry, uh, sorry. on the <laughs> look g- google it okay you'll see a picture and stuff from the olden days but they used to have like all a little like little clips from all the movies like one song from each disney movie yeah the so song of the south was on there and so i remember that it existed and uh <laughs> it doesn't exist anymore they were like <laughs> nope it's it's gone <laughs> But when I think about it now, like my dad will say, like, I don't know why they have to do stuff like that. That was a good movie. And I'll think about it and I'll remember little bits and I'm like, oh, my God, that was awful. But I'll watch. We were watching something and they were just throwing the R word around the entire movie. And I was like, whoa, they like really utilize that word. (laughs) Zippity doodah. No. 
No. Yeah, I think that is. I think that is Song of the South. It's a pretty, yeah. I okay, so is. now everything's starting to make sense. I was like, why are they taking down Splash Mountain? Because this song plays the whole time. It's from the Song of the South, yeah. Okay, now everything everything makes sense. Everything from Song of the South is... Okay. They unalived Never it. Got it's that. gone. It, they just erased it from history. <laughs> but I have an old book that's an illustrated Disney, like fancy Disney book, and my mom kept it. Uh huh. I, I was obsessed with it. I wanted her to read me a story every night. It had like the kind of the same thing. It had like a little story from each of the movies uh-huh. that like wasn't actually in the movie, and it has Song of the South in it. So I'm like, ooh, I have you know, and I'm like, <laughs> now I feel like I have like Nazi memorabilia or something. <laughs> I'm like, can I keep this? Is this like having? Am you know, I like a racist? <laughs> am I, do I have like? Racist. am i a nazi yeah <laughs> is this like confederate <laughs> propaganda what do i have here am i a trump supporter <laughs> do i need a maga hat red looks terrible <laughs> oh my on me god where's i get me i get some rosacea sometimes it's just gonna look <laughs> just gonna make me look like a big tomato <laughs> uh anyway oh, wait, do you have to go um, I don't have to go just yet. I have f- five minutes. <laughs> I chose five minutes because that's like the, you know, that's what kids chose when like when you're outside playing, you're like, can I have five more minutes? Oh, yeah, yeah. You and can... then it's actually 30. Yeah. Five more minutes. Keeps, yeah. Your mom cause... keeps coming out and she's like, get your ass in the house. You're like, oh, five more minutes, <laughs> mom just five i just need five more we were about to finish our friendship bracelet (laughs) we're almost done if you stop us now it ruins everything when you're when you're a kid did you watch um were you a a sesame street or what was the other one i feel like there there there's pbs and then there's i only remember there being sesame street but then later on came like the Nickelodeon ones, like Blue's Clues, and so there's Sesame Street, which is the only one I knew. Yeah. That channel, that era, Sesame Street, Mister Rogers. Oh, they're yeah. like, yeah, Fraggle. Fra- oh, the Muppets. That was the other one I was thinking. Yeah, the Muppets, Fraggle Rock. Yeah. What was that on? Like HBO? Was that a I don't know. I think you have to be you have to be rich to have, <laughs> <laughs> to, have to have the Muppets. Yeah, I think so. I think that was like a more like a premium channel back then. But yeah, there was um, I think there was I think that was Nickelodeon, and it had a bunch of its own shows that were like kind of weird. And yeah. there are some that I remember, and I'll be like, someone my age will be around. Like, do you remember the show? I don't remember what it was called, but it had this and this and this, and they're like what <laughs> and I'm like did did I like make that up in my head <laughs> like I'm so long ago yeah well because there was one and I still can't right now I can't remember what it was called somebody told me at one point that it was a real show and I was so excited it had mannequins it was uh-huh. like a mall wait a minute do you know the show and it had mannequins and they would come alive at night why am I why did it, it was... just trigger me and it was seriously like late eighties, the early nineties looking. It yes. looked real cheesy. And yes. so they were wearing like eighties, nineties, like just real like eighties mom clothes. <laughs> and they were like this, like all posed in the window. And then like the store would close and they'd be like, Wow, let's do it. And they they would like party. Good idea for a show. And there were like other things in there, like uh, I don't know. I don't know why there would be like Muppety animal things in there, but there were. <laughs> That's kind of creepy, though, also. But, like, like, I remember that, like, there was, like, an escalator because they were in a mall. Oh, so they'd, yeah. Like, be, they would, like, dance up and down the escalator. <laughs> and I, for years, I would tell people, and they're like, what the fuck? <laughs> Did your parents give you NyQuil to knock you out when they wanted to go party? Like, no, I swear that's a real <laughs> show. It was the 80s. <laughs> we had VHS. It was 1989, I think, man. Like, the 80s. <laughs> It was like the Wild West. (laughs) 
boobs were in every single movie. I know. Every single one <laughs> had boobs. At least one showing of boob in every movie. Family movie, boob. Does not matter? Yeah. They said the F word in uh, the Adventures of Babysitting. I forget. That's what I'm saying. It's like a G or it's like a PG movie. Yeah. And, and it's there, not, and it wouldn't be anymore. I don't know if there are boobs in that movie, but if you go through 80s movies, there are like boobs in all of them. And I remember it being so normal. Like your parents would watch it with you and they're just like, it's boobs. And now if boobs were in a movie, it would be like a huge thing. And I'm like, we were raised in a really weird time. Like, yeah. <laughs> I never watched, I never, did you watch the, um, the, uh, Mr. Rogers with, uh, Tom, uh, Tom Hanks? Yes. Okay. Be- I did not because I'm, I want to watch it, but I don't know. It's, it's good. It. Yeah. He's, well, he's a really, no, he's a really good actor and he could play like every nice person that's ever existed and do an amazing job. Yeah. I mean, I watched a movie of him talking to a ball That's for true. for se- for 17 hours and I found it like <laughs> enchanting. I was yeah. like, this is so good. Like it held it held my you know, attention the entire time. So I mean, <laughs> in my opinion, he could pretty much do anything, but um I watched there are a couple of different like specials and stuff, but there was a movie that was just a documentary about him mm-hmm. and I watched it with my friend and she was like you're gonna cry and I was like like I'm kind of a crier like I'm a, okay and we were watching it and he's so wholesome like it's so wholesome that I'm like tearing up no tearing up no I'm like don't do it don't do it and then we get to this one part and she probably knew it was coming because she was like her everyone in the room like that had already like seen it they were all prepping for it they're like oh no yeah like I'm not gonna cry this time and I was like oh shit about Tom Hanks <laughs> no this is just actual footage of like the actual oh. Fred Rogers and like his career oh, 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 and the, oh. Got it. Got so it's like the actual documentary there are a couple though it's a specific one so I have to get you like the link to that one and the other one's good but this one was like just made really well and then um I'm watching it and just like tears tears like real tears like not like a little like tears just tears and I was just like and I was like it was such a such a gift (laughs) we're all crying the same way and I'm like what the fuck why'd you make me watch this oh but I just found out that he um actually really liked to uh to to fart off like big big stinky ones like as a hobby like Fred Rogers real like for real like that was one of his hobbies like he played the piano and he taught lessons to children and um you know we had that trolley he was a puppeteer huh. he's sick as a child um but he also really liked uh like he wasn't a professional but he was like an amateur gas master and he liked to uh you know crop dust mr mcfeely sometimes you know the the mailman yeah he brightened everyone's day in all kinds of ways is what I'm saying. And his wife, if she was feeling like sometimes she got social anxiety, you know, where they were in church and she was just like, I don't know if God's going to answer this prayer. And he would just rip one as hard as he could. And just like, hallelujah. So he like, I, I really feel like in every way possible, he made the world a better place. So God bless you, Mr. Rogers. God bless you, Mr. Rogers. Bye. Bye.